Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, virgin and mother were undefiled. Sing of God's own Son, most holy, who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to the earth, word made flesh a very brother, takes our nature by his birth. Sing of Jesus, son of Mary, in the home of Nazareth. Toil and labor cannot weary, love enduring unto death. Constant was the love he gave her, though he went forth from her side, forth to preach and heal and suffer till on Calvary he died. Glory be to God the Father, glory be to God the Son, glory be to God the Spirit, glory to the three in one. From the heart of blessed Mary, from the saints the song ascends, and the church the strain re-echoes unto earth's remotest ends. Happy New Year. We gather on this, the first day of the year, honoring our Blessed Mother under the title of Mary, Mother of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves as we celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God our Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your ways be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the people in equity, the nations of the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless you, and may all the ends of the earth fear you. May God bless you in his mercy. Our second reading today comes from a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father so that you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son then, also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about the child. All who heard it were amazed by what was told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it has been told to them. When the eight days were completed for his circumcision, his, he was named Jesus, the name given to him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And once again, Happy New Year. I know that as we enter into this new year, the year of 2021, we always look back on the previous year almost with a sense of nostalgia. But this year, really since March, the pandemic has really affected all of our lives. It has affected the way that we interact with one another. It has it, it has affected the way that we worship together. It has affected the way that we live our lives. And for many of us, we are very happy to say goodbye to 2020 and look forward to a new year. Hopefully a new year that is filled with prosperity, with health, with healing, healing not only from the pandemic, healing from all the political unrest and turmoil, not only in our nation, but throughout the globe. Hopefully, healing of our brokenness in our world, in our hearts, in our families, in our communities, and perhaps a newness, a renewal of faith. I am aware that at the end of the year, 
there is much suffering that is still going on in this world. I've received many phone calls of those who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 and families can't go and visit them in the hospital. And so they are secluded, they are alone. Last week, we celebrated four funerals of fellow parishioners. This week, we have scheduled six funerals. And so we know that death is still here. There is still pain. There is still suffering. But in the midst of this suffering, we come to start the new year and we once again turn to Our Lady, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. You know that title, Mother of God, it was a debate in the early church. For many thought that you can say that Mary was the mother of Jesus, the mother of the human form of Jesus. But to say that she was the mother of God, the mother of his divinity, that caused a great struggle. And yet the fathers of the church decided upon that beautiful title. It was the Theotokos, which means the God-bearer. And from that we come to this celebration today, the Mother of God. I think it's important for us as we begin this new year to once again turn to our Mother. For at the cross, Jesus entrusted the Church to Mary and Mary to the Church. And so we turn to her for her intercession to pray for us during this difficult time. And for her to give us that guidance, that motherly care that we need in order to face the trials of this day. I know that New Year's brings with us not only joyful hope and expectation of a better year, and of course comes with us many resolutions. We try to resolve to eat less, or perhaps to eat more healthily, perhaps to drink less, perhaps to avoid some bad habits. But I suggest that maybe during this new year, we have a different form of resolution. Perhaps a resolution to deepen our faith. There are many online courses that you can take in some sort of biblical study. There are scripture books that we can read, even opening the Bible. There are ways to enhance our prayer life so that we can reflect as Mary did, upon the things of our lives. What she says in the Gospel, or what Luke tells us, is that Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. For she did not understand what was happening around her. But by prayer and reflection, she began to understand who her son was and what God was calling her to. It is in this great mystery, this great new year, that gives us great hope. But let us not only worry about our physical resolutions. Let's make some spiritual resolutions. Let's make a resolution to pray the rosary each day. Or make a resolution to read a small passage of scripture. Maybe to find a new prayer form that we're not familiar with, or to find some of those ancient prayers of the church, that treasury of faith that we have, and to pray those. Resolve that once we're able to, to come back to Mass and to receive the sacrament of reconciliation. Yes, this year we should work on our spiritual life, our relationship with God and our relationship with one another. Many times our relationships have been strained and they have been broken. And sometimes it's difficult to repair them. Sometimes we don't want to even try. Perhaps the Lord is calling you to try to mend a relationship with somebody. This is a new year filled with hope. Let us make the best of it. And let us turn to Mary, the mother of God, for her prayers her intercession, and most of all, her guidance.
And yes, today we celebrate a solemnity. We now profess our faith. For I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Inspired by the example of the shepherds, we join our hearts together to pray for all who are in need. We pray for God's holy church. May it clearly follow the example of the shepherds at the manger and share the good news of salvation to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, may this new year see an end to war and violence and the beginning of a long reign of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will face new beginnings in the year ahead, may their courage and confidence be in God, whose face shines upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of us who begin this new year praying with each other. May we draw daily strength from calling upon God in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the dying, may they find healing and hope in Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God allow his face to gladden them and to give them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs and intentions that we bring to the Lord today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of everlasting peace, listen to the prayer of your people. Be present to those who hunger and thirst for justice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection <coughs> and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy, this living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with your Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him 
with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a wave of God's peace. Peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And let us now pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we honor the motherhood of Mary today, let us ask for her intercession and let us pray a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And on behalf of Father Joffrey and all who minister here at St. Michael's Parish, we wish to extend to you and all of your loved ones a very blessed new year. May the Lord fill it with life, with joy, and with health. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, and throned above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound thy hymn, Save, 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 